New rule, libertarians have to stop ruining libertarianism. <laughs> or at least do a better job of explaining the difference between today's libertarian and just being a selfish prick. <laughs> now, many years ago on a television network far, far away, I expressed support for libertarianism because back then it meant that I didn't want big government in my bedroom or my medicine chest, and especially not in the second drawer of the nightstand on the left side of my bed. <laughs> and I still believe that, but somewhere along the way, libertarianism morphed into this creepy obsession with free market capitalism based on an Ayn Rand novel called Atlas Shrugged a book that's never been read all the way through by anyone but <laughs> Paul Ryan once said, Anne Rand taught him what my value systems are. And I believe him, because her book has a strange appeal to people who are kind of smart, but not really. <laughs> she wrote things like, money is the barometer of society's virtue. And the question isn't who is going to let me, it's who is going to stop me. Ooh, sounds like something a Batman villain says. <laughs> yeah, it's all stuff that seems very deep when you're 19 years old, not you. <laughs> <laughs> About how government is a dirty trick played by the weak on the strong. And I can see how, if you're a privileged college kid, you read that and think, yeah, that's right, I don't need anything, so shut up, Dad, and pay my tuition. <laughs> And then one day you graduate and pack up your things and realize that your copy of Atlas Shrug belongs in the same milk crate as your beer helmet and the t-shirt that looks like a tuxedo. <laughs> and you move on. Unless you're Paul Ryan or Rand Paul. Now I know conservatives are saying, come on, Bill, you're not really implying that the most influential minds in the Republican Party are intellectually stuck in their teen years. <laughs> no, of course not. I don't know where I would get that idea. <laughs> Which is not to say that there aren't libertarian notions that I applaud, like reinstating the Fourth Amendment and shutting down the American Empire. But to everyone who keeps trying to shame me about abandoning my libertarian moorings, my message is this. I didn't go nuts. This movement did. Like when you see a stoplight, your reaction should be great, an easy way to ensure we don't all crash into each other. Not, how dare the government tell me when I can and cannot go. <laughs>